Dear Rentals Club members, today I'm with Andrew McConnell. He's the co-founder and CEO of Rented.com. As you may know, Andrew is a very uh, interesting person to know in the industry uh, because he's got not only not only is he, does he know about his own you know, company and topics, but also he's always creating great write-ups whenever he attends conferences. And right now, we are right in the middle of the conference season. And I was curious to hear about his experience with the VIMA, the first, basically, VIMA conference uh, since the pandemic. So without further ado, let's welcome Andrew and uh, let's hear from him. Andrew, how are you? I'm doing great. It's great to see you again, Thibault. Exactly. So a couple of weeks back, we were in person, which is now we have to mention, wow, we met in person a couple of weeks back uh, in, in, uh, in France. And now you are in the US. So you are traveling and you, you're going through a lot of conferences. And a big one is the VRMA, the Recreation Rental Managers Association conference that took place a couple of days ago. Uh, as I said, and I will link to this on LinkedIn, you create a great uh, piece you know, about your takeaways from the conference, but I'd like to, to hear more about it. So uh, how was it going there? What was the, you know, before going there, how, what do you think about the conference? Excited. I mean, it, I think you felt the excitement and the joy at the World Summit of just getting back together. And I think you take something like that that was closer to 300 people and multiply it by six, where there were 1,700 in San Antonio for the VRMA. Uh, and it's, it's really next level of, man, it, we really missed each other <laughs> a lot. Uh, and so it, that, that part was great. It's the buildup is interesting because it's social media has been around for a long time. But it seems in a professional sense, LinkedIn in the, through the pandemic has really come into its own. So for a week building up, and this was, I think was true for the World Summit as well, you really saw a lot of posts, I can't wait to be here, I can't wait to see these people. And so there's a lot of kind of free marketing for these because the attendees are posting so much on social and, and building it up. And I think not only socially, but because it was going to be in person, uh, there was a little bit of FOMO. So uh, I know there were posts as early as Saturday and some other, other and, and um, you know, just very excited to be there. And Matt Landau doing his world premiere of, uh, of Home Runners on the Sunday night that unfortunately, and both excitement and build up um, on social and then just getting together. And then once you got there, yeah, it, it was very interesting going to San Antonio versus something like the World Summit. So the World Summit, as you know, very intimate. Um, these small round tables, single tree is seeing the same thing. The, the vacation rental management is very, very different. Uh, Many, many. Should I ask? Are, are we freezing up a lot? I think we're a bit. Okay. I think we can get through it. Okay. Probably. Right. I'll, I'll keep going. We'll, right. I'm gonna edit. We'll see how. But it's you could have the vendor showcase, which was in this huge, huge warehouse that had the the dining and everything, and then you had to go up a floor go a quarter mile and then there were the sessions and then go up another floor and another quarter mile. And that's the ballroom with the main event uh, oh. where the, the main stage was. And so it was very spread out. And for non-English listeners, I don't know if FOMO is a, a term people know, but the fear of missing out, right? And so you had the fear of missing out for people who couldn't come to San Antonio and be a part of this. But it's really funny to have fear of missing out when you're there, you know, I'm scrolling through the sessions I want to attend. And I see Simon Lehman sitting down with Carl Shepard. And in 2019, they did the same thing. And it was one of my favorite sessions. Carl has always been a mentor to me. I just love him. I wanted to hear what he had to say. I said, okay, I definitely want to go to that session. And the same time, there was one on marketing and revenue management. I said, well, this is my bread and butter. I, re I really want to go to that session. Man, this is really hard. And then I scroll down. 
one in time, a totally different session. I said, oh man, this, there are too many good things going on at the same time. This is really, really difficult. And so, you know, the, the trade-off of single track, you, you know they're together at the Vacation Rental World Summit, single stage, but with something this large, you can just cover so much more. And it would be impossible to cover something that was applicable to 1,700 people. That, that was interesting to see was just how wide and varied uh, um, kind of leads to my third big area, which is where it's going from here. Uh, and the two themes that seemed to really carry through were, and you saw a little bit of this actually at the, the World Summit as well, but one being technology, right? You know, the, the Mark Andreessen software is eating the world that it technology is going to drive this sector. And it's this interesting ten. The business is 100% local. All of the experience is on the ground. All the experience is on the ground, mm -hmm. hand to hand. It's, it's about being in the home. It's about the, the communication, the interaction on the ground, 100% yep. local. And yet all of the experience is 100% digital and global because that's how they find the homes. That's how they, they get there in the first place. And so you have these two really opposite and competing worlds and technology on that side, but then also technology on how to do better uh, on the, the on the ground operations. And there were some really interesting companies. Uh, one big signal for me personally was Techstars, which is the, I think the biggest technology accelerator in the world, bigger than Y Combinator. Um, they had four, Workers that were all there, you know, that I, I'm mentoring. I, I'm a tech stars mentor, so I met mm. mentor have to be at this event. And they, they came and they represented and they met and they were all so excited. That, oh my God, these this is, industry is absolutely incredible. We're so excited to be a part of it. So technology um, was a big part. And I think it feeds to the other one. And this one, I know you've touched on a lot. Um, I, Tivo, I know. Uh, Bob Gar Garner is really kind of beating the progress in our industry when it comes to this, but it's on impact. And not just environmental impact, but you really have to think of impact as a whole, you know, impact on our communities, because when, when we're not conscious of that, that's when we get blowback. That's when we get bad regulations, when we're not conscious of how we're interacting with our communities, with our employees. Because if our employees can't afford to live, I, I don't know if it's as big of a problem in Europe, but in the US, if they can't afford to live in the markets where they're having to work, what, what does that mean? Um, economic impact. So it, it goes both of our clients because you know we do pricing and revenue management. They said, you know, because of how much more you made my business and made us grow, my housekeeper was just able to buy her first home. I kept her employed so much, she was just able to buy her first home. So there's the economic impact on the other side. If we do it right, positive economic impact in the community. And so when we talk about sustainability, people talk about economic or environmental or corporate, and it, they're not different buckets, right? Because what is the opposite of sustainable? Unsustainable. Mm -hmm. And if it's unsustainable, it falls apart whatever label you want to put on it, economic or environmental. So to be sustainable at there, and I think more and more people are realizing that, talking about it, and more importantly, starting to act on it. And that, that was really exciting to see, and I think will be a big, big trend over the next five years. Thanks, Israel. It's pretty exciting, exciting to hear these, all these uh, evolutions. Anyway, it's always like... I just feel like there's something new happening. It's like, to, to a point, right? It's the same old thing. It's still people in the end coming to a house to have, you know, create some memories and stay somewhere. But the context around is always changing. It's, it's mind boggling sometimes. So thank you so much for taking the time. Andrew, what's the, if people want to know more, I think about the takeaway, of course, I will link to your article on LinkedIn, but if they want to reach out, you know, to know more about rented.com or to know about your thoughts, what's the best way to uh, get a hold of you? LinkedIn, just connect with me on LinkedIn. I, I don't turn down even sales connections. Like I, I take any connection on LinkedIn. So reach out to me on LinkedIn. You can certainly email me a at rented.com, but LinkedIn probably is where I'm, I'm most active and engaged. Cool. Thank you so much for your time.
Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you, Thibault.